He who sees that all actions are done only by nature, prakriti, and likewise that the self is not the, the doer, he verily sees. The word karmani is used meaning all actions, and it, and it is in the plural. It therefore applies to all actions. The word sarvashaha is also used meaning always and in each and every way. He uses, that, he uses that all actions are done only by prakriti, nature, and likewise that the soul is not the doer, he sees properly. Such a person knows that he is the soul and therefore he is not performing any karma actions and all karma are, that are, um, are taking place are being performed by prakriti, nature. Such a person sees properly. This means that this person is a true wise person. All karma actions are being done by prakriti, nature. There are two types of works. The first type of work is that which gets done, and the second type of work is that which one has to do. These are the two types of work. Here the word gurmani is used meaning all actions, and this can be categorised into two types. Some works are those that just get done, and some works are those which one has to do. We must understand the difference between the two. We performed the work of growing, growing because since we were born, we slowly and slowly keep growing from childhood to youth, then into old age. In all this, has an activity been done or not? What do we do? We simply grow. But this activity happens and we do not, we do not grow. The hair grows by themselves. We have no control over them and we have nothing to do with them. In the same way, there are many such activities that are taking place in the world. When one plants, plants a seed and then a plant keeps growing, it keeps growing, this activity, activity is happening. Who is performing this activity? Prakriti, nature, is performing this activity. When we go from childhood to youth and then from youth to old age, then who is doing this? Did we do this? Do we say that I have become a youth? Did we know how to grow? If so, then go and make a two-year-old in child into a youth. But no, it happens by itself automatically in due course. Why? Because of prakriti, nature. It happens naturally. It happens by itself. And the second type of activities are such that we have to perform them. If we get, if we get hungry, then we have to eat. Nahisin hasya suktasya pravishanti mukhe mruga. Only hard work results in success and not the desire alone. A, a deer does not just fall into the mouth of a sleeping lion. There are some activities that we just have to do. They do not happen just by themselves. The, the, um, there are these two types of activities. Those that happen and those we have to perform. And all of these activities are ultimately done by prakriti, nature. One should know this and one should also know that the person themselves is not the doer. God has said this very same thing earlier in the 28th verse of the third chapter of the Gita. Guna guneshu vrtantana iti matva na sajyate. He who understands that it is the modes which are acting on the modes, he does not get attached. It is the modes that are acting on the modes. All of this is just happening. Jungle me jogi reta hai, gabhi hasta hai, gabhi rota hai, badal muchko nahelate hai. An anesthetic who lives in the jungle sometimes lasts, lasts and sometimes cries. The clouds are bathing, bathing me. These are the words of Sunni Ramtirth. There is a line that I like very much. When fruits come in, in the tree, then it feels as if my mother, Prakriti, has brought me a plate full of food to give them to me. All of this is happening by itself. Swami Ramtirth says that when rain comes, then it feels as if my mother is bathing me. All of this is happening. One who understands that the self is not the doer, he verily sees. How am I doing anything? This is true gnan, wisdom. And when this state comes, then what happens? The next verse explains this. 